Hey, we came to Helen, Georgia for the New Year's week, and we've enjoyed some of the most beautiful sights, the tallest mountain in Georgia, some of the best food in Georgia, some of the best scenery in Georgia, and some of the nicest people in Georgia. So come along with us and let's tour Helen, Georgia. We're finally on the way. It's a little after eight o'clock in the morning. Headed to Helen, Georgia. It's been a lot of years since we've been there. Uh, we just went for a little weekend getaway, so we didn't get to explore much. So we're excited about seeing um, downtown Helen, which is beautiful. And we've been told there's lots of uh, waterfalls that we can go see. So we're gonna go to the Welcome Center, check that out. Did you get us a little snack, honey? Mm -hmm. I'm glad I got a large or you wouldn't have got much coffee. Mm. <laughs> okay, we're fixing to get on the 285 Atlanta Bypass in two miles. Go around some of the, at least some of the Atlanta track. Coming through I-285 and Atlanta has some major cracks and potholes in their interstate system. We thought we were going to lose the car a few minutes ago. We hit one. We're getting run over by the train. We've made it through Atlanta, thank the good Lord. And uh, the traffic has slowed down tremendously. Well, so you say. Good grief. Somebody needs a little speedy ticket right there. <laughs> Yona, what's that right there say? This is right here. I'll stop here to register. Right there. We're back. 
It's activity house. They took us around and let us pick out the spot that we wanted. Riding on the back of a golf cart, we were able to pick out the spot we wanted. The lady's name was Norma that was helping us out, which is a coincidence since Norma's name is also Norma. The engine about two miles from here started cutting out real bad. If you tried to give it any kind of forceful fuel at all, it would start cutting out and acting like it was gonna go completely dead. So I'm assuming there's water in the water separator. Now that's cool. I just noticed that we got the front tire off the ground and the jack is sitting at a 45 degree angle. So I'm sure that'll drop before the night's over. We're gonna go for a drive through the campground, let you see some of the variety of sites. There's roughly 108 campsites in the uh, campground. Some of them are consumed with the camp host and several of them are tent sites, but they're all uh, either 30 or 50 amp. You've got uh, game room, swimming pool, one bathhouse. There are no laundry services. Um, it's conveniently located between Helen and Cleveland, so you can go do shopping or out to eat at either location. We even drove on up to Hawassi. It wasn't that bad of a drive to get to Hawassi, Georgia as well. The campground host was very friendly and very welcoming. She met us as we were driving in the driveway and drove us around and let us see all the sites and, and we got to pick the one that we liked the best. They do have some pull through sites, but those stay booked up pretty much unavailable. So unless you book a year or so in advance, you probably won't get one of those. But we found it to be very accommodating, very quiet, very peaceful place. And outside of, we've had rain three days during the week that we're here, it was a very pleasant place to stay and we will be staying here again. Put put go off. German Huddle House. Very pretty, but also very busy. We're not the only ones that decided to come to the Helen. You can almost see it right there. Right there. Get the sign. They got nothing. Look at that view. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, can I get that table thing off? Check out the view on that Chattahoochee River going right by our table. That was most spectacular 
way to spend the evening and have a nice dinner. Um, chopped steak, roasted potatoes, and Caesar salad. I got the German pot roast. Roast with gravy and carrots and potatoes, and it looks delicious. And look at this view. From the Hofbrau House in Helen, Georgia. We took the time on our first evening to just ride through the town and see what was going on. We had a nice dinner at the Hofbrau House, and to me, the uh, comparison to this is like a different style of Gatlinburg. A lot of pedestrians, pedestrians have the right of way, so there's a lot of traffic stopping and letting pedestrians go by, but it was a nice way to see the town. And there's also back streets that you can get from north to south of the town without having to fight the traffic. But it was a nice way to see the town and find some uh, nice restaurants and candy shops and gift shops, things that we'll want to go back to this week. Main Street, Helen, Georgia is a beautiful little town, how they've got it decorated and the buildings all look alike. Uh, we had heard that you can go behind the town and here you can see the river behind the town. It was absolutely beautiful. We found a little uh, pavilion back here with picnic tables where you can have a picnic. So we just stood back there for a little bit and watched the water. Uh, it was a little chilly out there, so we didn't get to stay long, but this is just another beautiful part of our nature that was hidden back behind Helen, Georgia. As we were pulling out from the pavilion, we noticed that there was a little city park next door to where we were. There's a little park on the side of the water. And they had it all decorated for Christmas. It was really cute. Looks like the kids can go out there and play ball, run, jump, just have a great time. So they decorated all that for the for the little kitties right there by the water where it's a beautiful area. to Anna Ruby Falls today. This falls was discovered by early settlers and the man named it after his daughter, Anna Ruby Nichols. The drive up is really beautiful. The trees and the scenery, I know it would be beautiful during the fall. I'd love to see it again in the fall. There were three gates we had to go through. Finally, the third one got us into Anna Ruby Falls, so we're headed on up. Speed limit's 15 miles per hour, and instead of speed bumps, they use speed curves to keep you uh, under control up here. Reduce speed to 10 miles an hour. But you gotta stop unless you bust your tires out. Yep. So there's a long, I don't know, it's probably four miles or something like that, but it seems forever to get here. Alright. I'm gonna try to sit down on this rock. Or maybe not. And see if my arms are long enough to reach out. You can barely see the white water rapids down there. Beautiful area. What do you think? Very pretty. This part of the park is in the Chattahoochee National Forest. Uh, we passed the Unicoi State Park. It's also on this same road. It was one of the gates that we passed. It's a point four mile paved trail to the waterfall, but with the incline that it goes, it seems like it takes forever to get up to the top, and it costs three dollars per person to get in to hike up to the waterfalls.
Ooh, pretty shot. Each location just keeps getting better and better. Right about there would be really. I found where all the water's coming from. Pretty, pretty, and prettiest. Keep just going. Yep. We're so just making another, what, six miles so far over there? Yes. But that's okay. <laughs> or at least hey, one. <laughs> hey, buddy. We walked all the way to the top of Anna Ruby Falls, got to see the falls. The highest fall is 154 foot, and it's fed by Curtis Creek. The smaller waterfall is 50 foot tall, and it's fed from York Creek, and they join together to make a double waterfall that forms into Curtis Creek. So we came up here, that was one of our big goals is to see that waterfalls and there were several other ones that we wanted to see, but since that one was, what did you say, six miles uphill both ways? Point it, four miles. It was a nice asphalted, trail. very very smooth trail, no roots and rocks and holes and that kind of stuff, seriously. But it was an angle about like that and fortunately they had chairs for you to sit in every few feet or so so you could catch your breath and everywhere you stopped the scenery was beautiful so we didn't mind stopping and smelling the roses for a little bit so then we left there and we wanted to go to brass town bald which is the tallest point in georgia and we drove up there and the speed limit is like 15 minute 15 miles per hour and they control it with 
curves you can't get going more than 10 miles an hour otherwise you're going to be honking your horn at your own tail lights because the curves are so sharp so when we got there uh, we got out we thought well we might walk up to this thing since it was basically shut down it was new year's eve and we thought we might walk but it was uh, Very uh, cold. 25 30 degrees or something and we didn't come prepared for and that and the wind was blowing and it was hard. probably a mile walk to get to the thing, i'm guessing but it seemed Long a mile way. and to get there and not be able to do anything the, the elevator was shut down the building was locked down so there's nothing we could do anyway so we drove back down and the scenery again was magnificent. magnificent. I can't imagine what it would be like in the fall with the colors. Mm -hmm. But we've had a good time this week. We bought more candy than anybody should buy. Uh, it was for our kids. And <laughs> I, I, it keeps disappearing. I don't what know what, candy? so we must have mouse or something in the end. Because what we bought I is, is uh, not what we got left. We've had a wonderful time. The food is excellent. Excellent German food. We've so, eaten at several little mom and pop shops that yeah, have been very food's good. Food's been very mm. good. Hawassi, we had a, uh, a delicious uh, buffet at a place called Daniel's. Uh, we did mention at the first of the video as we were getting here, the diesel started skipping and sputtering. Uh, Southland Mobile RV Repair, number one in this area. Uh, extremely nice I would say even if you could get him if you're not in this area if he would drive that far he's worth yes the guy went way above and beyond it was a holiday it was New Year's Eve and New Year's Day he spent two days going to get parts coming to do the diagnosis go to get parts bring the parts back do the install Did check not all the charges enough for sure yeah I tried to pay him more than what he was charging me and he wouldn't take it so the guy's more honest than most people you deal with mm -hmm. and he did excellent work so excellent uh, kudos to uh, Southland mobile RV repair the guy's name is Zeb and he's filth will he's an RV himself very nice rig uh, so he should have been out enjoying his family and his time with with his rig but, but he saved in, us instead he he sure relieved a lot of stress off of us what we thought could have been a blown engine or something ended up being a, a filter Minor. and a pump and uh, some cleaning fluids and draining some fuel out and, and it runs like a kitten now. So thank you, Zeb, and we appreciate it. And I'll do anything. If you're ever in Arab, Alabama, look me up. I'll do anything I can to help if you ever need anything. Thanks again. We've had a wonderful time and we'll see you next time. Safe travels.